Okay, did you want your mum and dad on your trips, though? I know, it, I, I, I know I'm going to, like, I'm it, cutting the story. It depends but. because Mia enjoyed it in the end. But I'm a cool... I'm, I think I'm a cool dad. There you go. <laughs> I didn't want my mum and dad on none of my yeah, trips, no, but bro. Only, only because I just, like, there's a, again, there's a certain standard that we upheld in my house. Yeah. Like, there's certain things my dad could do and I'd just be like, now I can look back and be like, that was very bush. If my dad ever did, if my dad ever did this bush. outside, my brothers are looking at me like, brother, what happened for your dad, bro? Was your school black or white? Mixed. See, my school was white. Oh, your man was mixed. So it was a different story, bro. Like they're looking at you like, but at one time, I, but at one time, my dad sent me on a school trip. Is we've gone to like the shop on the way. Like my dad forgot my packed lunch, so I'm like, dad, I've got a school trip. Oh my god. But I might stop to one place. If you cross the <laughs> ham roll, no butter, bro. No drink. But I might got on the trip. Every, every, all, all the kids are taking their finger. But I, I had a dry <laughs> roll, no drink. The teacher looking at my like. Are you suffering at home? Like, I'm like, oh, no, no. I had to style it and be like, nah, I forgot my drink and my other thing. Like, I had to style it. Dry. Um, ham roll, Do you know what's bad? Our parents don't know how much we have to lie for them. But you know? lie. <laughs> they don't know. I could have been in protective custody, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, bless I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah. We just cut it out. <laughs>apologize to ambush i'm sorry i didn't know i didn't know frank was that cold come on man you see that frank what's his name what's his full name frank we are apologizing for i don't get it i'm just putting it out there like you know like sometimes um you gotta hold yourself accountable what's man saying frank man? is it frank aqua e-k-w-a e-k-w-a yeah is that how you say it aqua equa I think it'll be Equa. So Frank Equa. That's his name. But, but I don't know. I might be wrong. My apologies if I'm wrong for that. Yeah, so Frank. Okay, let's just call him Frank. Um, part of Buzzworld. Um, David. Everyone knows my friend David. He sent me a song, one of Frank's songs called Three, Six, Five Days. Three hundred six five Days. I didn't really take it in. But then um, I've been listening to it on repeat. He's got like a Ghana future. Friday. Slash vibe, yeah, yeah, he's cold, he's cold. But that Action Man song is not out yet, hence why we can play it. <laughs> but um, it's on their album coming out. You know what's mad about certain songs? It's, 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 it's weird, not weird lyrics, but it's, it's weird lyrics that get you. What, because of the Steven Seagal? 
No, it's like I might save him. I might, I might save a girl. No, but it's the way. It's his. That's deep. It's It's like it's just. But it's his melody. It's it's a melody, but it's sometimes you know it resonates with you. The difference is you know those what References. those things mean. Yeah. So it, it sits differently with you. But that's Where, not, but but that's why some people whereas, music don't resonate with certain people. That's what I'm saying. But, yeah. then, but then the melody might resonate with you, but you don't, know what, you don't know what he's talking about. Whereas mm. you know who Steven Seagal is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I think that's why I'm apologizing because the new gen are not going to know who Steven Seagal is. But it's the same thing we, we spoke about when Bashi was on, and there's bare stuff on his album or any songs he spoke about that you knew about. Because I'm because from Northwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no clue. So I'm just listening to Bashi as yeah yeah, yeah Bashi. as a listener. And whereas think, Wiley, I'm you're listening to Wiley is to say stuff like Boundary, um, Candy Street, um, Wild House, and you're thinking okay. So wait, did you? But un- these are areas that but, I know. But did you understand the reference when Bashi said something about going to Bagel Bite and being and slipping? Yeah, because it's like Bagel King. Okay, I'm assuming. Okay, okay. But that, um, I never got Bagel King's Campbell. Yeah, and Bagel Bite is Shepherd's Bush. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, so shout out, Frank. Um, there's another one I wanted to play, but I don't want to play too much music, but um, another tune that I think people should go listen to, my type of vibe, I think you'll like it, is um, K-Trap and DB, Rockstar. Okay. Rockstar and Designer. That's it, yeah. Cold, another cold song. I saw a sick, that's, I saw a sick um, K-Trap interview the other day. Well, I saw a clip, let me not, let me not lie, when he was talking about... Um, one of his brethren wanted to roll out with him. Yeah. You seen that one? No. And he's basically saying that, what's the point of, that? it's weird, he's, he's in a place where you'll go GRM and Mandem will be like, right, you can't take me GRM, like you're all uptown now, whatever. But then there's certain man that if he takes them to GRM, he has to buy them a suit. Mm. He has to get them a trim. He has to buy them shoes. And then them man will look at him like, to go look the part. Why am I spent? Why am I? Why are you spending five bills on the suit for? Like, bro, so he's like, he can't win. And he said, there was one time when I think they were talking. So he used to get an Uber or something to get trainers from like a JD or something, but he never had money to buy trainers. Mm. But he was always one of the first people in the car. And I think so, <laughs> <laughs> so he said one time he got into the car, and then one of his brethren brother said, "Brother, why are you in the car first? You never, you don't never buy that." And he said like he was embarrassed, but he said that that stuck with him. That he's like sometimes he said it was true. He said. Why am I the first one in the car if I'm not buying that? So he said sometimes that stuck with him that like if he hasn't got the money to be somewhere or he's not supposed to be somewhere, he's not going to fast himself up to be there. So it's like an interesting convo about like taking your brethren's with you to certain places. And, uh, okay. Have you taken your brethren somewhere and you regret it? You don't have to say his name or her name. Just have you been somewhere where you are good to go? You're like, mm, let me roll with someone and you've uh, regretted it immediately because of something they've done. All right. I can actually speak on this story. <laughs> like, I don't know why this stuck in my head. I can actually speak on this story, but... Speak your truth, man. To my link, yeah. <laughs> so, the night's like, going on, whatever, risky, whatever. Risky. To my link. To my link. To my link is going on, whatever, whatever. I don't know how it's happened, but... It's just... You know, like, when the link up is just perfect. Girl A is on me. Girl B is on you. There's no confusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, where you sort of staying? We're staying in Shoreditch. <laughs> Swear. Look. I'm driving. All right, meet us there. Perfect night. Bro, no one of a lie, bro. You know, like, when you wake up the next morning, like, you're in one room, I'm in another room, yeah? Like, all right, let me get this straight. How, how would you, how would you dress to come to the, 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 the kitchen? The girls are cooking breakfast. How would you dress to, to end if, if, if I'm leaving her bedroom? If you're leaving her bedroom, like, and how, how, how would you dress? And we, and we had a mad night. No, 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 not even, no, how, not even how would you leave? The girls are cooking breakfast. Okay. So how would you leave the bedroom to walk into the it's kitchen? Public area. Dining? Yeah. Based on what I had on yesterday? Yeah. I've definitely got my T-shirt on. I, I'm wearing my whole outfit. I'm not coming out in boxes or topless or nothing like that. This brother <laughs> came out. Boxes, bro. Comfy. Comfy. <laughs> like it's his yard. Butter. Like he's known his girls for years. Bro, I've walked into the... You, the you know the person the, as well, the, yeah? The any vision ain't the same, The matter thing is, you can guess who the person is. Like, you haven't got to tell me, but you you already know who this person is. Like, there's only a few of my bridges that will do this, bro. I, I've come out of the room now <laughs> in, like, joggers and the, that, whatever I'm wearing. I think I put my jeans on and a top. 
But I've come out. This brother is helping one of the girls cooking boxes. <laughs> you know what? When the girls cooking, and you're over her shoulder, kind of like, yeah, you know, yeah, let me, yeah. Let me yeah. <laughs> Way too comfy. <laughs> what? To be fair, you're right, you know, because that's like um in the latest Love Island, I saw a, I've, I'm not watching it, but I've seen a clip because of the drama between that Ayo brother. I heard he's tearing up in there. Bro, there's one time, you know, when they, it, again, when they come to you and say, yo, let me talk to you next to the hammock. Yeah. He's wearing boxes. Like, just boxes. I don't care. Bro, allow me, man. That might be for TV, though. No, but where your swimming trunks? He's just oh. got, he's got Calvin Klein, just boxes. Oh. The mic, the mic is on the waistband. Man's walking around the, the garden. Just sack up. Come on, man. Big TV. Allow me, man. Allow me. I, like, I understand if you're, I'm not saying you're not, you shouldn't be happy with your body. But have some decorum, man. He's looking for a Calvin Klein deal or something. Have, have some decorum, man. We, we, we don't need just sack out in, in on live TV, brother. Relax, man. Man's Calm me, down. Me bro. swinging. Pause. <laughs> But um, when you say that, there's only two friends that come to mind. One, because he thinks he's a Greek god, so wearing boxes is, is calm. Okay. And then the other one is just because he's just brazen. But you see, certain man, the comfortability is crazy. I, like, I rate it, but it's like, bro, not everywhere, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. there's a time and a place, man. But the hour was busting up for about <laughs> a week, bro. When I came out of the room, I said, what are you doing, man? <laughs> but did that, did, did, um, does your one have anything to say about it? Do you know what it is? I don't think the girls... I, I don't know if they said anything after. Yeah. But at the time, I was just laughing. They were laughing with me as well. Well, one was, but... It, weren't, it, weren't, it wasn't like a bad thing. But can I ask where you were? Shoreditch. Mm, I, was gonna say, no, I think they had an Airbnb. So I was going to say, if it was like Napa or Croatia, no, but I'd, still, I'd be far, I'd understand. No, I'd understand. It's about to put on something, man. <laughs> Yeah, like, like, at least even if you wear not, even if you're topless like put the shorts on or oh Saturday. yeah 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 yeah. but I can't like, like jeans the day after is long you know yeah it's long I hate jeans like I'm the type of person if I know I have um somewhere to be after a dance either I have like a like an outfit change in, in the car yeah. tracksuit or shorts or depending on the destination of where I'm going I'll quickly go to my yard and get changed I'll always have sliders in the car Especially if I've got like um, Jordan One highs, mm. <laughs> wearing them and putting them on in the morning. Oh is... my <laughs> god, <laughs> that is the worst trainer to put back Brother, on. Brother, but you want to leave again? The worst your... one is where like you, you, got, you, got, you, oh, <laughs> you have to part the seat with the laces. <laughs> oh my god, you got you at the door like this. Like, oh. <laughs> Sometimes you have to walk out like that, what, straight out in the car. What artist is that? Taylor Swift or something? There's one artist that's doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Taylor Swift. Brother, people say she can swim. You know, sorry, she can dance. Yeah. I don't, you see me? I don't want to get onto the Swifties because I just recently found out my daughter's a Swiftie. How was it? Yeah, I went on a, a school trip with her and I had to play chaperone. So obviously, all her friends. Said, but the way man said I had to play chaperone was like it was a song on the radio. I had to play chaperone, isn't it? <laughs> Is that how you say it though? I had to be a chaperone. She, she was adamant that I did it because it was like, I haven't been on none of her school trips because... My dad and my mum didn't come on none of mine. So in my mind, I'm like, mm, that's long. Did you want your mum and dad on your trips, though? I know, it, I, I, I know I'm going to, like, I'm it, cutting the story. It depends, but. because Mia enjoyed it in the end. But I'm a cool... I'm, I think I'm a cool dad. There you go. <laughs> I didn't want my mum and dad on none of my yeah, trips, no, but bro. Only, only because I just, like... there's a, Again, there's a certain standard that we upheld in my house. Yeah. Like, there's certain things my dad could do, and I'd just be like... Now I can look back and be like, that was very bush. If my, dad ever did, if my dad ever did this Hello, bush. outside, my brothers are looking at me like, brother, what happened for your dad, bro? Was your school black or white? Mixed. See, my school was white. Oh, your man was mixed. So it was a different story, bro. Like, they're looking at you like, but at one time, I, But at one time, my dad sent me on a school trip. He's, we've gone to, like, the shop on the way. Like, my dad forgot my packed lunch. So I'm like, dad, I've got a school trip. Oh, my God. But I might stop to one place. If you cross the ham roll, <laughs> no butter, bro. No drink. But a man got on the trip. Every, all, all the kids are taking their finger. But I had a dry gonna... roll, no drink. The teacher looking at my like, Are you suffering at home? Like, I'm like, oh, no, nah, no. Nah. I had to style it and be like, nah, I forgot my drink and my other thing. Like, I had to style it. Dry um, ham roll, bro. Do you know what's mad? Our parents don't know how much we have to lie for them. But you know? I lie. <laughs> They don't know. I could have been in protective custody, bro. I could 
I could have been in well, foster you know, care, bro. You know so bad. Some of the parents, some of the teachers would have phoned my parents. Oh, you have him? I right, keep him. <laughs> They're not even coming to defend, man. Ah, uh, the certain times my my teacher said, "I'm gonna call your parents." I'm looking at my teacher like, number one, if my mom's not in, no one's answering the phone. And number two, what you'll hear yeah. as a response, you'll understand. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, please. Don't call my Brother, parents. Some some teacher like I don't think you understand what you're gonna cause. <laughs> if this if this file goes through, I don't think you know what you're gonna cause for I'm me. I'm in bro. detention for six weeks. Oh come on, he can't do that. Are you mouse? Hmm. There's times when my dad's like, you're not going out, and I'm in mind. I'm like, how do you remember that you um you grounded me two weeks ago? If I had a year, he's gotten over it. No, when I grounded you, what did I say? He said six weeks. All uh-huh. right, is it six weeks yet? No. Six weeks? That's a long time, you know. I don't think I ever got grounded. No, I, 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 I won't allow that in the first place. <laughs> so, so, oh, yeah. So, okay. So, now that, I'm old, now that I'm older, I could, it's bait. It was bait. What? Let me let me let you believe you have the freedom to go out. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I won't allow like that. You ain't getting nowhere. Oh, no, oh, do you know what it is? I, I, it's weird. I was allowed out, but only if I had somewhere to be. So, for example, I couldn't just... It was weird. It's like, when I was younger, yeah, I could join on some holidays... My mom's at work. And my, if my dad, my, sometimes my dad would go sleep, yeah? He wouldn't know where I was. I'll leave the house for like seven <laughs> hours. My dad is conked. Seven <laughs> hours? Butter. Like just around it. You know what sometimes like when you're not free, yeah? When you get freedom, you just roam. You just go yeah, and yeah, roam, yeah, innit? Yeah. But then, then sometimes, that's boring. I'll just come home and start playing computer, whatever. But then I got to an age where I used to play football, whatever. So I'm out and about. But then I started to realize my parents' pattern. Yeah. So I didn't have to ask to be out anymore. Yeah. I just knew that you're not in it this time. So I'll just go out then. Then, then when you're yeah. back, I'll either be back or I'll be somewhere I'm supposed to be. I just started working at patterns. When I realized, I was like, hold on. I didn't actually have freedom. I just knew how to Maneuver. play the, yeah, the timetable. Yeah, same with me. I, but my, I took mine far. Mine was far to the point where I'm going raving. Yeah, that's wild. And I'm coming back at like 4 or 5 in the morning. I'm jumping through my window. There was one time I jumped through my window and my, my sheets was off. I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had opened my bed. I'm like, someone's been in my room. But now I'm not sure if, if it's my sister. She's clocked her out and she's like, shit, she's panicked and she's left. I don't know if it's my mom and it's like, watch when you get home. Because if it's my mom, I can kind of like say to my mom, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then she won't say nothing to my dad. Yeah. But if it's my dad, class. If I came home, I went to bed. Woke up the next day, breakfast, everything. And I'm trying to figure out who like, it who was. It? No one said anything till this day. I think it was me. I just forgot. I just hopped out the d- window and I just cut. And I've come back and it was obviously open. Because I used to sneak girls in. One time a girl was in my room. I used to go toilet taser. I can't lie to you. You got to hop out that window. You got to go to McDonald's or something. You got to come. Imagine that. I'm telling her to go all the way to McDonald's. To go use the toilet. To come back through my window. Just because I was scared to open my bedroom door. And let her go to the toilet. Which is just there. That's how much I was under oboe in my yard. Yeah. But then the moment my dad like was in Nigeria, for, my mom was easy. Not 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 in a disrespectful way. My mom was easy to run rings on. Easy. She wasn't. She didn't pop up a big fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't pop up a big fight. I'm one time I climbed out my window. My mom slapped me when I got that shit. <laughs> it was crazy, blood. Because in my old house here, my room was my, my mom and dad's bedroom was here. My my bedroom was right next door. Oh, then dude. there was a corridor, and then there was like my brother's room and then the spare room, yeah? So... Why did you take the spare room? Was it too small? Oh, the spare room was tiny, man. Oh, okay. No, no one cared about that room. No, but lo- I was thinking about location. Was and, and also, I'd already had all my stuff in my room. So to move all of it, I would, 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 yeah. I'd too much stuff to move, innit? So I've gone into my brother's room. I think he was out. And there's a way that you could... You know them roofs that are like that? So you can climb out the window and, and be on the roof. And then... I walk across the roof, like, you know, like, mm. and then there's like a, a gate. I can jump onto the gate, and jump down, down on, yeah. and then I'm out. So I've told one babes, yeah, yeah, man's on the way, whatever, whatever. Brother, my mum knew. As I've jumped down the roof, down the gate, my foot's hit the floor, bam, I've turned my mum's there, bow. So after that near death experience of me figuring, I got slapped and I had to walk straight back in. Do you know what my dad would have done? Told me to climb back in. I swear. Yeah. He just said the way, same way you got out is the way you should find yourself back in. I know. And, and he won't sit outside to wait for me to do it. You'll just slam the door and wait. So, for yeah, you. slam the door and go inside. That's what my mom and dad were on. 
Oh, yeah. My so, mom... this, so this is how you came, you come out? All right, go back in. <laughs> my mum slapped me still. Then I, then I had to... Um, then she said, wait till dad gets home. So, when he came on, was he on smoke? I beat, he got beat. I got beat. Oh, well, you he, said he got beat. Yes. I was saying that. Yeah, I got beat, I got beat. He woke me up still. <laughs> he woke me up. I, and I remember that day, because my, my dad's never really beat me before. Hey. Like that one... Yeah, but it's the way your mum would have presented it. Too. I do you know what it is. The, uh, you know, like when when you, when you get told your dad's coming home, yeah, or, or whatever, you go to bed immediately, but you don't sleep. Just in case he comes over. You're like in like... the dark, like with the cover, <laughs> pretending to sleep. Now, all I remember is like just the light switch coming on, and I think I did like you know, like when you're, I did eventually drift off, but that was uh, whoa, whoa. I got I had, I got beat, man. What type of parent, what type of, um, not parent, what type of partner would you like to be? So, like, for example, can your, obviously this is yeah. when you eventually have your wife, oh, yeah, yeah. kids, yeah. dog, all that stuff, yeah. Can your missus come to you and say, discipline your child? And then you're on a vibe of whatever your missus says you do. Or are you secretly going to have your own... Vibe. It's like my wife and kids. Yeah, a bit of both. Yeah. It's got to be a bit of both. For me, it depends on what's happened. Like if, 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 for example, my son tried to fight my my wife, like his mum, and she rings me, Panicking. it's a straight bad up thing when I get mm. home. It's like, what? You hit your mum? You cra- you it's one of them ones. Yeah. I'll find out the story later. But <clears throat> what I know is whatever your mum's done, she doesn't deserve to be hit, bro. Mm. So I'm coming at home on smoke. But then if it's like, Oh, so I saw him after school talking to a girl on the wall, blah, 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 blah. That's one of them ones. What? A girl on the wall? <sighs> These kids, man. She's a pretty, she, pretty, yeah, she a good girl. She's good. <laughs> pretty. Listen, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, think, I think it depends on how you say certain things and whatever. The reason I ask is, does that, does that apply for teachers? Because I don't, I don't think teachers have the ability to discipline Students as like, much as like they used to. They used to. Yeah, yeah. So like, so like, so like, so for, like, for example, my so like again. So me going on this school trip, I met the teachers, I met the other parents. That, yeah, but, yeah, but they're not going to show you what they show the kids, though. No, no, no. But I'm watching how the kids behave around um, Mia. Okay. Like the ones that she rates, because that's who they more going to gravitate towards anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the way Mia kind of arranged it, she managed to pattern it with the teacher that in um, Dad's group, can you make sure that at least I'm with some of my friends. So it's easier for him to manage because I think each um, parent was assigned six kids. Oh, okay, okay. okay yeah, yeah, yeah. But then altogether it was 48 kids. Yeah. And I think there was nine or ten adults. <clears throat> and we went to the Tate Modern from the Tate... Oh. Tate Britain first. Yeah. From the Tate Britain, we took a boat, the Uber boat. You know there's an Uber boat? Have you been on it? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's an Uber boat. I've been on a boat that goes across like the... Thames. To Kanae Wolf. Yeah, yeah, it's called an Uber uh, boat. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got an Uber boat from the. Uh, but I didn't order on Uber though. You could pay for it. That's yeah, you can pay for it there. But oh, I okay, think okay. it's it's an Uber um idea, and you can take it take it from somewhere in West London all the way to East London across the Thames. I swear. But we just took it from the Tate Britain, a couple stops to the Tate Modern. Okay. Went into the Tate Modern. I can't lie to you. You lot that like. Museums oh, and that. And, uh, I don't, I don't care, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Art's all subjective, bro. It is, I hear it, but it's, it's still got to be something that I guess I'm interested in because, like, I could just put a canvas in, in a room, add two, two lights, have a blurb beside it, all of a sudden it's art, bro. But you can put paint on your cheeks and press your hey, cheeks on the, the canvas. Fuck is going... I'm but telling you, know you what's mad, though? And, and then you can sell it, No, bro. but do you know what's mad, though? Like, if you started doing that, for example, with all of the cheeks that you've encountered, in the 10 years' time, someone's cheek on that canvas will be worth money. Like, one of, one of the babes you spoke to back in the day is currently sitting on about 400K, 500K. Someone rates her things, what I'm saying. And her cheeks is just sitting on your canvas, green paint, mad. Little sign. Maya was here or something like that. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, Maya, you know, Maya's smashed though. <coughs> no, but do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, Brent asked me a question earlier which was an interesting one. He was like, um, can you remember all of the countries you've been to or how many times you've flown? Like, how many stamps do you have in your passport? Do you know the exact number? Uh, no. Exactly. But there's some people who do. And he, 
Yeah, but is that because it, they don't travel a lot? Yeah, it could be. Or because they do travel a lot? It could be. Whichever one it is, some people know the number and can tell you the exact location or destination they've been to. Wait, is this a metaphor or you're being serious? I'm being serious, oh, but the God. metaphor's I thought, coming. I thought it was a metaphor for how many women or how many that men was coming. someone slept with. But that was coming. Oh, yeah, that we was did, coming. We've been in this pod a long time. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Brett, no, but that was Brett, though. No. That oh, was sorry. me. That was Brett. Yeah, yeah. What? That done what? Brett both. Oh, see? Brett did the same. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> come on, come on. It was Brett. <laughs> <laughs> come on. That was actually Brett, yeah. So he was saying, yeah, that there's actually, there's some people who can remember all of the people that they've slept with. Yeah. Name, location, destination, whatever. And there's somewhere it's like, hmm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But um, remember I said I wanted to say... <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny here? Tay didn't ask no question. Tay didn't say which number, he didn't say which person he is. He didn't say, I'm this, I'm that. Uh, I wasn't saying I was any. Tay didn't ask uh, me what I am. Tay didn't say, yeah, okay. so I'm. Um... <laughs> no, I was going to say, I was separated to my point. Oh, oh, do you want the food? Yeah, yeah, I've got a headache, um, man. I've been really watching um, AMP's content recently. I'm nine... Seven, nine, three... No, nine, seven, zero, zero. Thank you, man. Oh, shit, man. What? The wrong one? Sparkling. Yeah, man. You've got bread myself, water. What's this, man? I'll put, I'll put every in. You sound very, very angry, bro. Sorry, can I get a fork as well for you to have one? Thank you. What you, so you've been watching AMP, what's that? So, Kai Sinat, um, Duke Dennis, uh, Phantom, it basically... Um, oh, Drewski it, and the man. Kinda, yeah, but it's the American version of... Not the American version, but like... Content creators in America. They okay. they recently had the charity match with um, Beta Squad, Chunks in them. Okay. So, um, they have a... Remember I keep messages you say, yo, we've got to do reaction videos. Reaction yeah, yeah, yeah. Videos. Uh, listeners, don't worry. It's forwarding soon, yeah? But they have a, a piece of content called Guess The, and it will be a group of people, and it'll be Guess The Body Count or Guess The Virgin. So they had one called Guess The Body Count, and it had six girls. Crazy. Brother, one girl's body count. I said, hold on, let me try and find it. I was like, how is she just saying this on? But again, like, she's owning it. Like, it is what it is. America's different, you know. America is different. Uh, they got one Guess The Meat Size. <laughs> See, guess the meat size, yeah? Guess the virgin. See the guess the meat size, yeah? Yeah. Thank you, man. See the guess the meat size, yeah? It's mad because... What are you basing on? Well, that's what I'm saying. And Because you know what it is? When, in life in general, thank you, man. In life in general, when you realise that you haven't got anything to base stuff on, yeah. you have to base it on something. But I think that's the humour. That's what I'm saying. But, the, but, that, that, but then that shows what you're giving off to a degree. But that's the humor because you got to understand. Okay, for example, yeah, if the reason why I like the show and it's very, one could say it's problematic because you have to use stereotypes, yeah. and your stereotypes comes from somewhere. That's what, that's my point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like when I went to that drink up and then the, the girl said, um, "Who, who here has the smallest penis?" And then <laughs> she pointed at my man. <laughs> But then he didn't know. And he's so like, ah. Oh. He, he said, the paranoid. So then he said, so what's the question? And everyone was waiting. And he's going, yeah, who's got... And he's speaking, bro, what, what why, why me? The smallest root meat? And it's just like, bro. No, but did you ask him why? You, no, but you can't, you're not allowed to ask why. It's just oh. that, that, that it's just, you can't ask why. It's just like, you can only ask the question to repeat it. I'm DMing us. Because, like, why do you think my words? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But my thing is this. If she said it was me, would I care? Because my meat ain't small. Yeah, but some people ain't secure like so, that. So, um, that, that. But I think it's the embarrassment of everyone in the room. That's that's one thing. Okay, but it's her assumption. Yeah, of course. It's her assumption. At the end of the day, you're, you've, you've all agreed to play the game. Like, for example, when you, when you play Uno, someone's getting a um, plus four. I've never played Uno before. What? I've never ever played Uno before. Let me say no. But to be fair, it's like Blackjack. It's, it can't be, though, because it it's... It is. It's like Blackjack. Nah, because what does it the is. Uno reverse mean? What's the other way? Oh, that's an eight. Yeah. So what's this plus four thing? It'll be blackjack. I'll pick up five. Yeah. There's oh. Four. Okay. Yeah. Then they got plus two. They got skipper go, which is eight. Eight. They've got um colors, 
which is um racist term. No, you know is uh you know is um blue, red, yellow, green, and then oh, spades, ace, ja- yeah, ace yeah, all of that, yeah. clubs, I mean, um, um all that. Yeah, it's it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I thought someone in the comments would have said the number because um I can't remember. Forgive me. Double digits. What am I saying? Double digits. One girl says she's okay. Do you know what? I need to play it. And and also when they reveal their body count, they phone their friends to confirm. So one girl said she's zero. She's a virgin. The one girl, okay, this girl is the one I want to play for you. I'm a big fan of y'all. That doesn't include work stuff? I didn't include any of my work stuff. Okay. You know what? 92. My name is Seven. I'm 24. And I'm from. 92. My body count is 92. My sister. If you could guess a number, what would you say? And I'll be recorded. You all be recorded. You can tell the truth. You can tell the truth. Ain't even all that bad, though. No, like, no, it's not. Hey, I'm here to talk about Listen, man. Hey, you experienced individual. Yeah. <laughs> 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 when I say experienced individual, you know, part, part of the workforce. You see that Jeep guy, Jeep Dennis? He's cold. He's apparently the gallus of the group, the AMP group. Um, brother, 24, 92. Like, she said it straight. Like, Brent, she knows. Each individual. She said 92 of confidence. All right, so wait, wait. So if, I do, if I do the maths here, <laughs> if I do the maths, all right, you might have lost a virginity, let's say 18. 18, yeah? Six years. Six years. Six divided by 92. <laughs> it's 15 bodies, 15.3 bodies a year. That's one a month. That's more than one a month. It's 12, it's 12 months a year. Yeah, a couple of holidays in there. <laughs> <laughs> like summer's peak, you know, summer's that, red. That's a new a new body. So it's basically green, 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 and then her summers are probably amber, red. Activity, as in red hot, Kante vibes. That's mad. And then towards winter, but she's from America. I don't know what the the weather's. It's probably different there, but yeah, basically one a month since she was eighteen. Maybe she lost it younger. I don't know. But yeah, she said that with confidence as well. No one put a gun to her head. She's on a show that's currently sitting on uh, 3.8 million views in three months. She confidently said 92. Phoned her sister to verify as well. Do you know what I don't get about... I feel like this next gen is very different. They're like, open. Yeah, they're open, but is it to their detriment though? They'll find out in the end. That's what I'm saying because you don't really... Everything you've put online is... Online. Okay, there's a brother. Let me show you this guy. <laughs> so they, so they did... The first part of the um, episode is all girls, six girls, and then they did six guys. My name is Devin, seven four black hair. I'm from Rome, Georgia. My age is 30. My body count is 111. We call one of my gangsters, man. Oh, is he? Yeah, I call one of my gangsters. Well, Mac and G, hello. What's up with you, man? Hey, man, I got a question to ask you, man. I know you be seeing me around doing my thing and thing. Well, how, how much would you guess my body count is? Well, that's probably about 100. What? <laughs> <laughs> said the same. Nah, though. nah, that's it. it, it. <laughs> But he, phoned him. he must have phoned him and told him that, bro. Man said 100. He even st- try to style it and do 110. <laughs> Man said, back, back, hold on, whatever. That's the nigga said, what? Man, get out. If that was me, I'd be like, get the hell out of here. No way your brother is guessing your exact number, yeah, bro. Yeah, You're 30. I don't know what I'm Man said, you, you see me out here getting my razzle down, so <laughs> <laughs> Hey. 111. Hey, wait, what's the maths on that? If you lost the 18? Nah, he, he's maths is better than us. I'm just saying, he's 30, so 12 years divided by... No. That's like 10, like 10 a year 12. or something. Uh, 10, 15? <laughs> no, that's five. five that's no, but, no, but his one's harder because he has to work for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we forget that part. He's got to do the dating and that. Yo, that's you a lot. S- you say that, but then sometimes, like... Quality control, to be fair. 
that you know what is over the past like week or so whatever, I've been getting moved to in a weird way, bro. Like it doesn't make no sense. What do you mean? The 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 the, 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 the way I can't even get the words out. Are they trying to do it in a way where it's like, oh come on, babes, I can see what you're doing. Not like no. Do you know what it is like? To put it this way, like today when I got back, I'm in Romford. But I swear to God, I look down at my phone, I look up, babes with glasses right in front of me wearing a suit, bruv. What? Looking like brother Muzo. But uh, <laughs> so not like a like suit blouse. Uh, just been a holiday. I said, what the f-? I thought it was a camera somewhere. I said, yeah, yeah, I just come back from holiday. Yeah, what's going on? Why? You travel often? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, whatever. But uh, then the bus came. And I'm like, yeah, I was going to jump on the bus on my bus station. She's going to... All right, then take my business card. Uh, give me a call. What? I swear to God. Bro. Is that her moving to you? Moving to me, bro. How do you know she moving to you? Are you, are you... <laughs> she says, I can see, like... I'm like, what? What time is this? Maybe, like, 3 p.m. Okay. Do you like girls in suits? Um... I think they've got to have cheeks. Yeah, but sometimes when they when if you if they got cheeks and they're wearing a suit, sometimes it makes the cheeks look long because the trousers. But there's no give. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no like. It's you know not, what I'm saying? It's not, it's it's not just, allowing. It's just holding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even. The trousers yeah, yeah. just drapes in the bum, man. It's like boyfriend jeans. It's whole butter. The amount of times I've I've hey, I've the, seen boyfriend jeans, I'm like, right. no, no, it's not even that. The amount of times they take it off, you're like, no, it's the other way round. A lot of times you've seen a, a girl that you know has dumb cheeks and she's wearing something, you're thinking, if I didn't know you, I wouldn't know what's going oh, on behind okay, there, cool. you know? Yeah, that's because you know. That's what I'm saying. But that's so, why you got to look at the other ones so, and be like... So imagine how many times you've seen a girl out and just thought to yourself, yeah. mm. not knowing she's packing heat. Yeah. Uzi, bro. <laughs> 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 if she... Pulls it down the whole room, <laughs> ringing a, the whole room. That's a recall is mad. <laughs> and imagine in life, yeah, we're having this conversation right now, and some people just don't know what we're talking about. No, no, it's not that. But some people ain't had that. That you see that level of recall, that that je ne sais pas. You know, you know, you got to stop and you look up like swear nah, me. No, nah, them man have. Do you know why? Because them man, you said them man. Who's them man? Them man gave her a chance. Who's them man? I don't know. No, <laughs> not everyone. But certain man ain't experienced that. You see what you said when the, a girl pulled up glasses in front of you? Certain man didn't experience that. I didn't want to experience it either. I know, but you have, is my point. Mm. And, 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 and whatever, whatever level you was at at that time, you're thinking, rah. You're going to register it, is what I'm saying. Even, do you know what it is? When I've noticed that I'm not really the best with compliments. As in giving them or receiving them? Receiving them. When they go give me a, a mad compliment, I don't know what to say sometimes. What's a mad compliment, man? So when I must have checked into one hotel, um, my bedroom was at the desk talking to the woman, and I've just taken a walk. It's a new hotel. Now I'm with Daps, sorry. Daps is talking to the woman at the um, desk desk about checking and whatever, whatever. So I've just taken a walk, and as I've walked in to the um, diner or whatever, there's two women, and then she's looked over and she's gone, Oh my god, you're very handsome. And I'm like, oh, thank you. I don't know what to say, but... You say thank you? I know, but like, it just... Oh, I didn't know we give facts. <laughs> you, just, yeah, you just keep it moving. I don't know, man. All glory be to God. Because <laughs> I think, you know, I feel like when women give you compliments, they sometimes expect a little something back. Because I've, I've kind of... Yeah, like, okay. Like, because I've right. kind of told you... I think you're nice. I'm feeling you. You're the man, make the move. So, so sometimes when I... You, you see me, like... I'm, you look I, back at that. Like, yeah, I'm like that. Nah. <laughs> Sometimes, if, I, if I'm not... I'll just be like, thank you. I said that. <laughs> just keep it moving. So I know I know in their mind that, like... You say you look, you quickly scattered, and you're just buffering. <laughs> the worst one there is when you're, you you think then they might move, you're like, eh? <laughs> now, God said on the seventh day you should rest. <laughs> What do you think about that? <laughs> Bro. Now, nah, to be fair, one girl said one that was mad to me, yeah. You might even know her as well. I, I've told you this one. Okay. But she came up to me and she was like, listen, I listened to the pod and um, 
basically, I'm a, I'm a kept woman. What's that mean? You got a boyfriend? Yeah. Okay. But I have to let you know, you are very attractive. If your missus said it to someone, I is know, that cheating? I know, I know, I know, no, no, no. Like, I just, <laughs> if your missus, if your missus doesn't cheat, she's always uh, like always does what she needs to do. But then you hear over that, here that she's complimented so that that you over here that that she says to a a dude or David or someone said, "Bro, I just saw it, like you know," and she just walks up to this brother and said, "I'm a kept woman. I'm in a happy relationship." No, 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 that's mad. I, I, I think no, no, I'm, no, no, I'm, no, no. I'm a kept woman. I'm in a happy relationship. <laughs> but you see, you you are. Gorgeous as a man. What are you saying? No, 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 no. She knew she was t- overstepping boundaries. So this was a moment between me and her. Unfortunately, going back to what we said earlier. Why is that unfortunate? Because a lot of people have those experiences and some people don't. So it might seem as if it's a violation, but I know this is a secret. I'm not here waffling on a podcast about you, it. <laughs> you see, you see what Taylor said? That's what Taylor's my nigga. <laughs> it's between me and you, babes. We're private, man. <laughs> Whatever you say to me, it stays here, man. What the job will say? If we do thing that we do, yo, but you, but you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. as uh, if you, as a man, if you ain't crop that, you're on your own. When I first met her, I don't know what the fuck I'm on. I mean, do the day you can get a freaking out. Hey, <laughs> <Aye. laughs> certain girls will tell you certain men are allowed to pull their hair, and certain men are not. If you don't know where you stand, that is on you. I have no, it's it's true though. Listen, women can go on 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 these podcasts and lie all they want. They know who can call them at two a.m. and who can't. I ain't pulled a girl's hair for years. You saying you're fucking with them bald ones? Nah, that, that's, 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 that's a hate tween. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're dumb. That's uh, just... <laughs> I was a hey, hey, slap, slap in the head and the where have you been? <laughs> nah, because if girls are wearing like lace fronts and all that, you can't pull that. Mm. And then once the girls are just like, yeah, can't happen, bro. It's changed because remember, a long time ago, remember, people don't realize this whole wig thing, it's not new, but it is new. Because back in the day, if you told a girl, if you, if you said to a girl, you wear wigs, only their grandmas and their mums wore wigs. Them dusty Tyler Perry wigs. You know them, the, to, to the side of the, you know them wigs that the when they... The inside. <laughs> the wigs that when they get on, they put on the polystyrene <laughs> head. You know them wigs there? The yeah. old wigs. Yeah, but some people still wearing those wigs today. Impossible. Brother, you can see it, bro. Mm-hmm. Impossible. No. Dude, get, girls of age, as in like... Well, in a, within us... Like, like, girls from what? Like 23 up to like 30 but wearing their wigs. Yeah, but isn't it, isn't it determined on price now? No, no. What do you yeah. mean? No, I'm talking. It's, it's the shape of wig. Yeah, but I'm saying, isn't that based on your price? Like that's like, that's like saying, oh, back in the day, certain man used to wear certain crepes. Yeah, that man wearing no crepes today, bro. No, no, no. Them what? wigs there, girls will spe- <laughs> girls will somehow get the money. It might not be the best quality of lace front, but it will be. You know, you know like, people don't realize. You know, like for example, you've got like a Mary. Yeah. Silver, I mean, Amiri silk shirts. And then Zara. But Zara. But then you, but then after Zara, <laughs> you've got like what? Timu. <laughs> Timu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So you've saying got that... AliExpress, so you've got so. No, but I'm saying, because at the time, what if the, the, the grandmas and the mums were wearing the Amiris of the time? Is yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, but the Amiris of the time are like now the Timus now, because that, that remember, them wigs. Because that warehouse is closed. <laughs> remember, that wig wasn't to your specification. It was okay. just, you put on your head and you hope it fits. Freestyle, yeah. Whereas lace fronts now, girls are like fits all. doing it to their hair. I mean, there's. Their I respect shape. that though. I can respect yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But it's changed as in like, now, remember back in the day, girls didn't wear wigs like that. They used to get the weave. Remember they used to sew it in? Mm. Now or, it's different. I don't know what's, I don't know what's on the, yeah. Some of the videos I've seen on Instagram, they've gone for like the, what's it called? Is it the? The GRM. Was it Get, get Ready With Me or something? No, I'm talking mm-hmm. about when they redo it. What's it called? It's a process. Because even the man them are doing it, but they get where they replace the unit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man's yeah, yeah. tearing off a man's um, afro, and I'm, I'm seeing. I'm putting the glue on there. No, I'm seeing mugs. I'm like, no. Oh. <laughs> well, so welcome to Pen Game Battle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> no, nah, I don't understand. Have you seen Bad Boys yet? No. Nah. Waiting for it. If I now talk about it, you're not going to see it. I was in America, innit? So, so, even more, even more. Or you don't go to cinema in America. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> this guy is not serious, you know. Like, I've always thought about that, you know. Like, would I go cinema if I'm in a different country, like on holiday? No, I would. It, I think it depends. I always wonder about the language. I think it depends on what it is. It's a new drop. No, no. So, for example, like, I, I, so if I'm gonna, if if I'm gonna, depends, man. If if I'm going on a date. In a different country, a cinema is not a recommend. It's not no, but I, I could do it. it, it, it I think it's. Did you go to cinema in Dubai? Nah. But I'll, actually, I would. But I wouldn't. I think it's, the luxury the cinema in Dubai might be. The experience I, I, might I be think right. it, yeah, I think it depends. I think if I'm on a party holiday or I'm on the holiday with a man, then I might not necessarily go to the to cinema. But then saying that, because I've been to Dubai so many times, I am probably could go to cinema now. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've done better other stuff. Mm. I think it depends. If it's a first time holiday, Cinema's not on the checklist, yeah, bro. Yeah, true, 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 true. You know what I'm saying? Whereas if you've been loads of times, then it's like, yeah, man. And sometimes you just, as you said, you might just want to go because it's just, you might have a time during the day. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I had, I, I, there was a time I had in, um, where did we go the other day? Ireland, Copenhagen, uh, Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> might have been Barcelona. Might have been Barcelona. Because the hotel was right by a mall. So I walked into the mall. I was wondering, is this cinema going to show English movies or yeah. is it just Spanish? Oh, the Spanish dub. Yeah. <clears throat> that's why, that's one of the reasons why I've kind of been skeptical about going cinema. Because, like, Dubai, what language would the movies be I, I in? Think be Ameri- I think it'll be um, English. I said, I think it'll be American. I know, it's going to sound crazy. <laughs> I think it'll be English. But do you get my point? Because yeah, there's so yeah, many yeah. expats there, they can cater to so many different languages. But I that... think it'll be English. Because when you go to Dubai, I've never heard... I don't think I've heard anyone in Dubai speak that, that don't speak English. I've never been to Dubai and someone... I've met, I've met a French person, okay, but they still speak English. That's what I'm though. saying. Yeah, yeah. But then when you... Like, I've never been in Dubai and been like, do you know where... Yeah, the, I've yeah, never yeah. been there. Everyone English speaks English. English. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whereas if you go to Spain, you're going to meet someone. Oh, my God. Um, do you know where... Like, yeah. France, Spain, them places there, Italy, you're going to hear people speaking the language. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say something because of what you said, you know, but I can't remember what I was going to say now. But off the back of the bad boys. No, nah, the back of bad boys and you talking about... Oh, yeah, so I'm in America now, yeah? hmm And then I'm in the gym working out, whatever. I'm like, I'm starting to eat. I said, you know what? Let me treat myself. So I spoke... Uh, see, that is ringing me right... But this is insane. Let, let, let me, wait, what's it? You're connected to the road Yeah. Yo, Daps. Oh, let me put on speaker. <clears throat> Yo, Daps. Yeah, yeah, hear me. Yeah, I can't... But you know, I'm recording a podcast right now, yeah? Oh, yeah. You're my witness. What did I say okay. to you after I left the gym and I went to Joey's? After you left the gym and you went to Joey's... I got uh... steak, champagne, wine... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you're taking yourself out. You said you never... You said it's only when you're going on a date or something that you'll do a nice dinner with somebody, but never by yourself. So not every day, fast food or Chick-fil-A, in it. I lie? Do a, little, do, a little steak, do, a little, do a little steak and wine for yourself. I lie? I said to myself, that, you know, i got to treat myself. Like, I, you'll spend money on babes, but... No, yeah, yourself. Yeah, but what yeah, a burger yeah. for yourself. Come on, Marvin, yeah, man. Yeah. Do better, man. <laughs> nah, I said, nah, I said nah, let me get nah, steak, nah. please. Mashed potato and a red wine. Nah, asparagus. Asparagus. I've got to feed for myself at least once a week. Yeah, you lost money. He's different, man. Teach me, man. Oh, get out of here, man. <laughs> What's good, man? Anyway, do your thing. Do your thing. Let me know. Let me know what you You're not recording. All right, I'll ring you after, man. No, wait, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, nah, wait. Wait, wait. Daps, can you give us a... Yeah, yeah. You see, sometimes these AMP guys, yeah, they phone each other, whether it's Kai AM, Sinat AMP, or... AMP, AMP, what's that? Um, um, any means possible. You know Kai Sinat and Duke Dennis in that? Oh, is that their group? Yeah, it's called AMP, yeah. They see, like, Chunks okay, Beta okay. Squad, they're AMPs, yeah. So sometimes... Oh, okay, yeah. you know my old man now, isn't Yeah, it? I know, I know. I'm, <laughs> me, I'm trying to keep... I put it to AMG, I'm like, Kai, <laughs> like that. All right, bear in mind, someone did ask a girl, yeah. what, what, um, what car do you have? And she said, Mercedes-Benz. And then he goes, what, what kind? She, she goes, AMG. He okay. goes, yeah, what what car? She goes, I got the AMG. He's like, you don't know what car you're driving. That is mad. <laughs> <laughs> she just knows it's an AMG. You right, say you, right, can't, right. you can't flex on me. But the question I was going to ask you is, um, have you got any tips for our listeners? Oh, oh, that sounded... Tips for what? Just, like, just Riz tips, you know? Charisma. That's what they call it now. The new gen. Is that it? 
this. I don't know what's going on. I no. don't do that, man. <laughs> Listen, up, I'm sorry. You like um, you're living life in 4K. You, know yeah, you want you know some what? tips, you man? Let me not even lie to you. I'm I'm all cap. I'm changing my name from Flex God. It's all a lie. <laughs> I made a mistake. I'm humble guy. I stay behind the scenes. Don't mind me. Everyone stay in school. Please read your books. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it's it's too loud. It's too loud now. <laughs> sorry, I don't know what's going on. I'm changing my name. It's all my fault. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know who begged me. <laughs> but I said I want peace. Done. I don't but, want problems. I don't want any problems. I say that, my guy. That, that's that's went viral with that. Um, remember that video? He said, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> which which one? Which one? Shut which the fuck one? up. But you said, "Why do people?" Do you know what? Sometimes you just shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's true yeah, though. I'm not involved, man. I'm not involved. I'll be there soon, man. I'll, I'll, I'll try and pull up on your podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, man. But I'll shout you after anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Love, man. <laughs> see, I'm, see, see how mad it is. But I'm, people, man don't lie on this pod, you know. People don't realise. Sometimes people might hear you say something and think, oh, you're lying. Bro, man don't lie. I was in um, Houston. You? I'm sitting there. I'm thinking, let me get something to eat. I'm thinking, then I'll, what's a Google? What's the best food to eat after Jimmy? It's a steak. Or foods with high protein, whatever. I went in there, I said, yeah, can I just get a table for one, please? The woman said, you like champagne? I said, yeah, I'll have that. <laughs> Had the champagne sitting down, the dude came up to me. Do you know what I didn't like what this dude done to me? He charged me for ice cream, but he didn't let me know. I was vexed. You see, America's different, yeah? What do you mean? Did you order ice cream? So I ordered apple pie and ice cream at the end, yeah? Yeah. There's a, but it's like a big apple pie with one scoop of ice cream, yeah? So I said to the waiter, excuse me, can I get another scoop of ice cream? He said, don't worry, I got you. Oh, okay. But I said, don't worry, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the bill came, I saw extra scoop of ice cream. I, saw, I said, I thought you got me. Oh, I, <laughs> I, thought I thought you got me. I thought you, I you got me. me. <laughs> Bastard. Wait, maybe you meant I got you as in I'm going to go get it. No, man, you. because if a, if a waiter here says that to you, he means yeah, but that's, you it's, 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 it's on the, like, it's on the like, house. Whereas here, it'll be like, sorry, um, just one more scoop will be an extra 150. At least you know. Yeah, they let you know. They let you know from the jump in it. I said, all right, cool, cool. Let me get that. The way I said, don't worry. You know America's in the street where they kind of they kind of stroke your ego. Don't worry, I got you. Don't so worry, if, I got you. If you were on a date, yeah, and the girl wanted extra ice cream, the waiter's come over yeah. and said, oh, ma'am, that would be an extra 10 pounds. And she's like, yeah, yeah, it's cool. But, you, but you're the one paid. Yeah. Is that fine? It's fine, it's fine. Because already you're fake. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, but I'm looking at your face. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine, still. It's fine, it's fine. You're lying, man. I saw your face, it's bro. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> what you say? She, she asked you first. It's fine. I had one time I bought a girl milkshake. She didn't finish it. I was vexed, man. She didn't finish it? Like, not, not like a milkshake, like the, the expensive one. Do you yeah, know, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. But there's bare toppings. <laughs> the other ones that are bare money, bro. Like, it's not like, it's not like a... Special a, menu. A, it's, not, it's not a one pound seven yeah, milkshake. Like, head head a <laughs> Creams one. This is like eight quid, nine quid. <laughs> I said the toilet the toilet was you know, perfection. You know what you ask? You phone them. Like, do you want anything? They say, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want? Then you get it. Then you get back your drink and your one, couple of sips and leave it on the side. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Everybody grows some cheese or something. But I don't want to be petty. It's like, I, I don't want to look like a cheese game, but, <laughs> but how the money went into this, you know? You, you, you don't want to drink it. So you know sometimes like they leave it and then, uh, you're, not, you're, not, you're not drinking your drink. <laughs> Hey, do you know what I don't like? Yeah, do you know what I don't like? You know, you go to a base house, yeah, it's a proper like, it's a drink cup. So you decided to buy the snacks, you bought a bottle of alcohol, whatever. Drink up for everyone, uh, other people. No, just it's you and her, but okay. you're, you're looking to get oh, a little yeah, wasted, yeah, yeah, you're staying over. Yeah. And in the morning, when you're ready to cut, you grab your bottle. You didn't finish the liquor. You grab, are you, you grab your bottle? Yes. Well, I said, grab your bottle. I'm grabbing everything. <laughs> or even the Harry Bows. <laughs> Brother, I'm packing everything in the bags, bro. No, they can keep the sweets, man. Whatever, yeah. man. If, if it's open, there's like three left. I leave that one. But, or if I bought a sweet that I know that only she likes. Mm. You know that like, you know, like when girls like them ones with the sugar on them? The tang-tastic. Garbage. <laughs> yeah, have that, have that, have that. But if there's tequila, I'm taking it I'm back, taking, I'm man. definitely taking tequila. You're not using this for your next drink, up. No way. I'll leave this in the boot. Next man <laughs> sipping on my tequila. Mm -mm. Go buy your own, man. Mm -mm. And even things like that. Like, I don't go to girls' house who's wo worried about whether her stock was bought by another man. So, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not bothered about that. I don't care. Where I draw the line is if, for example, she's on a vibe of you're not getting into bed with your outdoor clothes. I got spare shorts. Whose shorts are these? Yeah, yeah, it's insane. 
I'll rub it, I'll fur my boxes, babes. Or, or if I have to, naked. But who the fuck? Sh- I'm not wearing these man's shorts. No way. They also tell you that that's a secret between me and you. <laughs> What? That ain't no secret I want. <laughs> exactly. So I'm not doing it though. <laughs> for the sake of getting in the bed, you're wearing the next man's shorts. The worst one is when they will ask you for a t-shirt and then they will say, um, sorry, one sec. The worst one is when they will ask for like, can I just wear this? Oh, that's a new t-shirt. You want to wear it to bed? Are you okay? <laughs> Do you see me wearing that to bed? What? Hey. Hey. That is too funny. Uh, can you tell about um? Oh, what was I gonna say? What's the temperature like in America? In terms of actual temperature. No, no, no. As in with the whole um, what was going on in hip hop recently? Did they have a divide with like the music that was played? Are they still playing Drake normal? You see, America, yeah. America doesn't care about anything. <laughs> Went to R and B night. They played R Kelly, bro. Oh, still. America don't care about anything, bro. Anything. I heard same girl say. I said, wait, hold on. I heard a tune. Like certain tunes, yeah. Because you don't hear R Kelly here. When you hear it in America, yeah, it stands out. It stands out because you remember. Like I heard a tune in a bit. Who is? Oh yes. They oh, don't you care. Don't and then you like, you don't play R Kelly. They don't care, bro. They play like the DJ. They play whoever they want. They don't care. Because we met, uh, there was a DJ in, um, oh, what, what night was it? I think it was Jaquise. When we did Jaquise, yeah, yeah, me yeah. and Chucky in Brum, I think Jaquise's DJ is from, what well, does R&B nights in LA. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, oh, I've seen y'all on TikTok, da 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 But during his set, I noticed he was playing Tory Lanes. Yeah. No, so I don't think anyone, Tory is a weird one. No one's canceled Tory. He was still playing Tory? Yeah, no one's canceled Tory. I've, I've not heard any woman moaning about Tory being played or, like, I think because everyone was so divided on that case. that Because remember when Kelsey came out and it, there was so much, like... It was muddy. It was so muddy that it wasn't like, a, you done this. We, we know something happened, but we don't know what happened. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's why Tory's... And even when Tory got to 10 years, most people were like, right, I'm shocked. Yeah. So I don't know about Tory. Okay. Whereas Diddy, um, R. Kelly... Diddy's one's got... Diddy's one... You gotta dissect that one though. But even Diddy's one. Are you spreading it to the songs that he's produced? They're, they're playing Diddy. Where are Diddy songs in yeah, America? I, yeah, I don't think Diddy would get cancelled straight away. Like that, that Victory. Um, Club were you in where they were playing Victory, blood? Um, where was that? Somewhere. In the, I think it was, the DJ was doing like a like Victory, all about the Benjamins, been oh. around the world, like you know, like doing that, like and then mm. just kind of going around and playing different genres, isn't it? You know, like when you go to like a lounge, they play all different <coughs> songs. I'm telling you, bro, they don't, in America, they don't care. That is mad. But this is one of the reasons why I say it's very important that we travel, man. Because your perspective will be so limited. Like, I was speaking to one of my boys um, yesterday, and it was a random call. She just called him quickly to talk about something. We ended up talking for like an hour, yeah? Mm. One of my old, old school brethren's, yeah? And I was basically telling him about um, a girl that we knew back in the day. And then some of the decisions that she's made now, that... Obviously, I've heard through the grapevine. I don't know whether it's true or not. But we would, we just wouldn't have expected it from the way she was carrying herself back in the day. So it's just like, rah. People really, like, it's either people do change or they put up a, a facade for so long that eventually when they show their true colours, it's like, oh, I didn't even know he was like that. But when then, you say choices, what do you mean? I don't get it. Like, you can't really speak on it. <clears throat> it's yeah, I don't, it's not about whether she listens or not. I just don't want to talk her business. But you know, like, for example, in life, you might have gone to uh, been in school with some youth who was just like, just the way he was, people had a problem with it. Then 20 years later, you've heard about the youth and it's like, oh, it's my man. And some of the, the behaviors he's kept up with, you're like, oh, I saw that when I was in school. Like, I saw that he had that in him, yeah, yeah, is what I'm saying. So yeah. we're realizing that about a lot of people that we grew up with, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Yeah. A certain man is just, just moving mad and you're like, bro, like, he's like, bro, to be fair, he was always that guy. You're, you're expecting him to be, become someone that's responsible now because, like, something challenging has affected him. Maybe he's lost his license or he's just found out he's having a baby. You'd expect someone to pull their socks up and fix up, whereas some people ain't. That's but, not them. But it's weird, though, because school's one of them ones where, like, it's weird. Like, in terms of the South lot and the East lot in my school, completely different. So, all, in, so all the East lot, 
we all, not that we all talk, that might be the wrong thing, but there's no issues. Mm. Just man them, you live over here, I live here, you might be married, you might have kids, you might just be on your different journey, but if I see you, it's well gone, but oh, yeah, long time, whatever, but it's that, but then most of us are still cool. Mm. The South lot, brother, bear man don't talk. Yeah, but what if it's environment the, 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 but when you say environment, what do you mean environment? In South London, might have been a bit more hostile than East. But, yeah, but I hear what you're saying, but nah, East was hostile as well. I'm, no, I'm, I don't, but remember, I never said it wasn't hostile. No, yeah, yeah, but, but you know, in, I, in terms of maybe in terms of how they handled their disputes, maybe that because I know, like like I said, we grew up where I grew up. Church Road was five minute walk, maybe ten minute walk. Sorry, same with Stonebridge, same with Saint Raphs from my estate where I grew up, which yeah. is Brook here. So <clears throat> they all handled conflict differently. On their estate Blatantly You can tell You've, you've seen it But you're, that's different I get what you're saying But that's different Because if This road has got beef With this area And that area But a lot of these men Were from the same area bro Yeah but what I'm saying is As we've gotten older I've now realised that This person is actually From this estate But he's affiliated With that estate Because his cousin's With that person Yeah 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 So yeah. when I'm going out Saying well going to him today I might see him With another group of friends But go to say well going to him And they're looking at me funny Like who the fuck Is this you all of that you have to learn straight away. Where some people don't learn that quick yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. You've walked over there, but like, oh, where's my man? And I got fucked up around the corner because yeah. he thought he was cool. These times it was just around. The, I, like all of these things come play a part. Mm. You see it now. Some DJs were. I remember I saw the, um, what's it called? A gang of youths go up to the stage and literally like tell the DJ what are you doing. DJ's none the wiser. He's playing tunes, but he hasn't realized that he's played drill music. But he's played one block, and he's played there up next. He's not aware of that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But they were in the building, went to the stage, told my big man, if you play that one more tune from that side, it's, it's getting locked off. Now he's struggling. He doesn't even know what, what, what song's offensive. <laughs> so who, who can't I play again? That's, that's why it's mad though, because sometimes like, when <clears> people <throat> rap and they say certain things, you don't know if it's true or not. Mm. Because if you're not invested in a culture like that, when I say culture, that might be disrespectful to the culture because although it's a part of the culture, it's not a part of the culture. You know no, I mean? but it depends on the music that you're... Um... Yeah, but if you're, if you're playing, for example, if I'm playing like a, a 6-7 song, what's that, what's that song? Is it Lurky or whatever? It's Let's called? Lurk. Let's Lurk, yeah. I might be a DJ and like this tune slaps. They might be talking about someone in that tune, most probably. Yeah. I don't know who they're talking about in that tune, for uh-huh. example. Yeah. So I'm a DJ and like, I play it. Man rush to decks. What the fuck? Hey, that's the other side. Brother. I just know it's a banger. Cool, cool. Do you know what I'm saying? But you learned today. Yeah, but, that, but I, don't, I don't know if that's learning, though. No, no, but I'm saying everyone has that moment, though. Everyone, in life, you'll get humbled. As, you might have gone to... Um, okay, imagine red is your favorite color. Yeah. Every day you wear red, red oh, hat. LA. Red, but, and then one day you're like, I'm going to LA. Or, you, or your boy's getting married. LA's where the, um, the stag is. You go to LA, you're wearing red. Man, I tell you, big man, you got to wear a different color. Nah. I'm wearing red. Cool. Wear red, but you go to certain places, they'll let you know. Listen, we're in red run here. This is what happens. You're in a different place. You got you got to adhere to what's going on. Yeah, but that's different, though. No, you want to be a drill DJ because no, I don't think if you're a multi genre DJ, you're gonna play certain tunes. Oh yeah, that's the, okay, fair. But it's, I still believe it's your job. If if someone's letting you know, no, but that's like you've been Afrobeat DJ and then burn. I wouldn't out. be Afrobeat. DJ. No, I'm just saying that's like you've been multi genre DJ and you're playing Afrobeat. Yeah? You got to stick to commercial songs. And then out of the blue, obviously Davido and Wizkid are beefing now. Yeah. But you're not really aware tapped of... In, yeah, cool. You ain't really tapped into that. Mm. You're in a club now playing with kid. David, I was there with Entourage. Next minute, security comes to the stage. Bow, slaps me. Are you playing dad music? Are you dumb? Eh? I wait, so What's let me, going on here, okay, but, but the same... The so same, that's I'm saying. You learn today. You will, though. No, say, but leave me alone, no, man. No, but the same analogy could be given to, like, for example, when you was in the club with um the other day, but you heard R. Kelly. Let's say a group of uh, UK girls who were tapped in, cancelled R. Kelly, go over there, and they're in a the club and they hear R. Kelly. One of them might feel the need, uh, the courage because she thinks everyone is on, of the same understanding. We're not playing R. Kelly. Go to the decks and tell the DJ, Big Man, what you doing? And security will take her out. Exactly. She yeah. go learn today. Yeah. No, but that's different though. <laughs> but that's, but, a, that's the other way around though. But I'm saying someone's learning. Someone's <laughs> learning. <laughs> so, someone's uh, someone's, someone's learning, learning somewhere. It, it depends on your environment. It's like when, um, okay, Dubai. Like if a DJ plays R. Kelly, Who's getting to the deck to tell him? No, no. He's got to practice discernment. Otherwise... You mean, you think someone will tell him that? Someone might. Because it's... Again, because it's so many I, different I people. I heard a dude playing R. Kelly in, um, in the five. 
Yeah, probably. But like, like a pool party. Depends mm-hmm. what they give a damn. No, I'm saying it. The people who do give a damn, is it? They're not. Do you, do you know about the things? I feel like people say they don't want to hear R. Kelly until you play it. But then when you play it, they just dry, they just forget. Then by the time they remember, DJs mix the next tune in. I'm telling you, bro. They don't. Like... I think it's gonna get to the point where you're gonna have to decide who you want to listen to, and just keep that to yourself. It has to be between you and whoever's in your car, because at some point, like some there's certain songs. Don't want to mention no artist, but there's a personal. It's a sentimental value associated with this song. Like some people have lost parents and they've associated an R. Kelly song. Whether it's a moment in their life, it was marriage or birthday or christening. They remember that person and you're going to tell them, ah, because of... It's it's a hard one. It's a very hard one. Even been around the world. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, I can't let that one go, man. More money, more problems. I can't let that go. Because even the beginning bit with Mace, yeah? The the beginning bit, have you heard what Mace is saying? That spoke to my whole life, bro. (laughs) Oh, brother. I'm t- if I play that intro, that's spoke to my whole life. You know that when you're just a dude that like, you you get babes and you just know that some certain man hate on you a bit. That maze thing? Oh, brother. I get I get the skanks now. Maze it's, too- it's just a cheek. Yeah, it's just cheeky. It's- I can do what I want. Oh, like, I get it now. Do you know what I'm saying? But again, time has passed. Even while you're over there looking at me, why my girl standing here? Oh, <laughs> now what the hell is you looking for? Can a young man get money on him? No, I'm, t- I'm looking. Brother, <laughs> yeah, what's wrong? Come but, on, but, man. But, but Mason, I, I love the fact that Mason and Cam are um, doing their thing together, bro. Like, it just, like, from the history that they have, the gap that they took and then where they are now, especially with everything else that's going on, yeah, it's, it's sick, man. It's so I, I want Mace to start freestyling, though. Or like, what, what you Cam know how Cam keeps doing them freestyle, yeah. and I'm like, it's cold, but I want Mace to do one. Because you see Mace, people don't realise, yeah, Mace birthed a lot of rappers, you know, because mm. people weren't rapping like that before. Yeah. Because he, 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 he was rapping, like, slow, but kind of for girls to, like, understand. And you know I'm saying, because I, I saw someone arguing, someone saying... Who's better, Mace or Fabulous? And then people, like, I saw some people saying Fabulous is way better than Mace, but I saw loads of comments saying, bro, if it weren't for Mace, there'll be no Fab. Mm. Because that style... Is Mace. Is Mace. So I started thinking, actually, then I started doing the dates and whatever. Then I had another conversation with Daps in America, yeah? And he was saying that... What was he saying? That when artists die, everything's forgotten about around that time. And then their cells go through the roof. He was basically saying to me, like, you do know that YG, when Nipsey died, YG was a bigger artist than Nipsey. I'm like, no, he wasn't. He's like, Marv, I swear to God, when Nipsey died, one of his men in LA or someone in LA was up to him and having a conversation. The guy said that to, he said that whenever someone dies, stuff gets skewed. He said, I guarantee you, go on Google right now and look at, before the numbers quadruple, look at who's bigger. That's what he checked. YG, more billboard hits, more... But remember, Nips, Nipsey, was, Nip, Nipsey wasn't a mainstream artist. I hear that, but then, but now, if if some, if some you were to say to someone, who who's bigger, who's bigger, Nipsey or YG? Most people say Nipsey. Yeah, yeah, I hear that, but even you at the saying? time, he wasn't, though. That, that's, that, that's, you, that's you using your brain. No, but he was never... Ma- no, but as a, as a Nipsey fan, yeah. no one who was a Nipsey fan will tell you Nipsey was mainstream. So, it's but, like... Do you know, do you know it's I don't like, think that's to do with mainstream. It's just, like, for example, like, it's like Pop Smoke, for example. Pop Smoke was on the verge of becoming mainstream. And, Nips, and he Nip- probably was. You know, he probably was. And Nipsey was on the verge of becoming mainstream. That, vic- that Victory Lap album, when that hit, after Double Up, <clears> last <throat> time I checked, Nipsey would have been... In, no, in, I, in terms I, of I, America, I mean American mainstream in terms of... Do you know what I'm saying? The same way like... Um, who else is there? I'm trying to think of artists. The same way like... Um, like a little Dirk after that. Oh, my life. Like... He kind of crossed over. I, I, can ask, I can ask you now. Yeah. The crossover that he did. Mm-hmm. Um, to Nipsey? No, Little Dirk. Yeah. He, he did the one with Drake. And then yeah, he had, then the he the one a... with Drake was, was, was the one where we thought, okay, cool, this is a crossover, yeah. That was the first one. And, th- and then he had... Um, the one with J. Cole. No, he had the Drake one again. The, the album, was it Bible? But then he didn't, they didn't really bring that one out. And then... There was a tune with J. Cole, all oh, my life. That won a Grammy, innit? The one with J. Cole? Yeah. The one with Grammy still. I mean, I didn't really take to that tune to be fair. I had to, I had to hear it out a couple of times before. Um, yeah, that one a Grammy. That's not the little duck that I... But that's what I'm saying. I'm, but it, so when we're talking about it, it's like, but if you said to someone, 
Who's who's bigger, YG or Nipsey? Most people say Nipsey. Most people never think YG is big like that. Yeah, he had a good run though. That's what I'm saying. But the me, the, 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 like looking at the music game now, yeah, it's weird. It's like if you have your business in order, yeah. you could do two album runs and be set. If you if you're on your publishing, yeah, if yeah, you're, yeah, 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 you have yeah, your business yeah. in order. Two. Two strong albums, maybe a couple singles and around. And especially if you've got songs that people use as samples or people want to yeah. use. Oh, brother. Or, 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 if you've used old samples and then your song revamps the sample. Because um, I don't know if you've watched the interview, which is something that I think a lot of people should go watch, the conversation with Joe Budden and Larry Jackson. Woo! Oh, was that, that's the Gamma guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great convo. Brent, I'm still, we still need to talk about that one. You finished it? The Larry Jackson, Joe Biden combo. You finished it? All right, cool. We'll talk about it another time. But um, <clears throat> yeah, that combo was sick, yeah? Um, he says something in regards to... He goes, Drake's catalog... Yeah, I saw that. I think this is what he said. Yeah, Drake's catalog is bigger, bigger than, than the, the 70s, 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 80s. He said maybe noughties. No, nah, he said... I'm sure he said... Nah, he said noughties. There was no maybe. He said combined. Yeah. yeah. Drake's catalog is... Either play, getting more streams... But I get what he's saying, though. Because if you think about it, yeah? All of the people that are streaming artists from that age, yeah. no disrespect, they're dying. Yeah, or, or they had it on CD, or they might not be yeah. on Spotify. Or they're not on Spotify. Or, yeah. And or then Apple the ones Music. who are streaming Drake every single day yeah. are like the new gen. I remember as well, people don't realize you can stream Drake on a Drake album or you can go to a rap caviar. We can go to and like playlist, another playlist. Yeah. There's always a playlist with Drake on it. I saw something the other day, was it Made You Think posted it. And it was like, Drake is 38, 28 times, no, 38 times platinum. Like all these albums, 38 mm. times platinum. Um, what's his name again? Kendrick is eight times platinum for all these albums. And I think J. Cole was 13 times platinum or something like that. Or 16, even 13 or 16. So Drake is like way ahead. So He's the first l- artist to hit a, 100 billion, 100, is it 100 billion streams? I don't get that whole um, stream thing because one minute I'm hearing Drake, the next minute it'll be Taylor Swift, it's, it's, and the next minute it's The Weeknd. No, they, they, they talk, it's, you got to be very specific in what you're reading. Sometimes they talk about daily, then it'll be weekly, then it'll be monthly, then it'll be ever. So they, they word it. Yeah, so it yeah. might be like, oh, Taylor Swift has the most streams this week because her album just dropped. Yeah. But the next week it'll be like, Drake, this month. Apparently, I Spice lost 25 million Spotify listeners in a year. But I, didn't, I, didn't I, I don't know it. how that works. I don't. I just saw everything. Even this sample, yeah. You know, you know this sample. You know how many people have used this sample? Yes. Yeah, so, from around the was this was is the first one. Easy E. From around the way. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Easy. This is I'm ride spinners. I'm ride spinners. They don't stop. What is it called? That's mad. But but whoever owns the original is eating. Yeah, yeah. He's eating. He's just getting a letter every uh, uh, check he's, every he's, six he's, He was the original. But oh, whoever owns his estate. Because he is he, easy he, that's the <laughs> side cashing in them checks now. Um sorry. So what did I search now? Shit. Yeah, Drake. Drake officially becomes the first artist in history to earn a milestone of 100 billion streams on Spotify from the 8th, 18th of June. A hun- and apparently the person who's next is nowhere near him. It's What's still like oh, because 50 billion. Yeah, yeah, because remember, Drake has, in terms of his albums, remember, Drake's... Remember, Drake ain't really rested. When you break it down, yeah, Drake's always had either an album out, a mixtape out, or been doing um, single, 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 singles. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's what that's why people are like. What's his sound? And I and I, I get it because every year, no, because do you know why? Because like every year, yeah, the that annoys the me. trend changes. No, nah, but the reason that annoys me is because I saw someone talking about that. About I think Ebro was talking about Drake not having the sound, but it's like, but nor does Kendrick. Not in a rude way, but he doesn't. I'm not a Kendrick fan enough to, no, but, to, no, but to dictate whether he has a sound. No, but no, but what I'm trying to say to you is, like, for example, if you listen to, like, 3-6 Mafia, they have a sound. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you listen to 
future to a degree. He has a sound. Mm. Little Baby has a sound. To, do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. Whereas Kendrick doesn't rap the same in every song. One minute he sounds like quick. He can sound slow. Yeah, but that's his style. Though. That's, that's my point, I'm saying. And then Kendrick's from the West Coast. I don't get that Dr. Dre, that... I don't hear that on his music. Mm. So he doesn't sound like he's from the West Coast as such. You can hear it in certain things he says. So it's kind of like, I don't like the fact when people say, oh, what does Drake sound like? Bear rappers don't sound like they're from anywhere. No, but I... I Only people like Little Baby, Future, you can... Uh, um, 21 Savage, you're like, you man, Atlanta, I can hear it. No, but I think with the, with the Drake thing, and bear man, I'm a big Drake fan. Everyone knows. I'm not hating on Drake. I think with Drake, he's because he's, he's so good at what he does. He could, like, for example, he could hear a sound. Yeah. The sound is wavy. The moment he does his version... He's, he's, he's stolen from a man. Yeah, no, but yeah, yeah. I, I like the sound and I wanted to do my own version. And because I'm Drake, it happens that my version is now the biggest version. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? So you might have heard like One Dance, for example. Heard Wizkid doing these things for a while. I'm like, oh, you know, I want to take a stab at that. He just sounds, he just, Drake comes across as that guy who just thought, oh, I, think, I reckon I can do that. Let me try it as well. But don't you think it's weird how like, if Drake does a song with a Wizkid or... Dave or whatever they call him a culture vulture, but then when Gunner does a song with someone in Afrobeat, no one's calling him a culture vulture. When Chris Brown does a song, no one's calling him a culture vulture. When little when, um, when you say when little you say, baby does a song with you, um, Central C, no one's saying culture vulture. That's because of again, it's the whole. Um, but I don't get it. What it's, it's, what, what are we complaining about here? No, the issue that people have. Remember, it's not it's not everyone. There's some people who have an issue with Drake. Their issue, yeah. is that they believe. He doesn't do anything for the culture. He just taps in to whatever he likes, takes from it, and cuts. That's how that, that's how they see it. But you know what's funny? You people moaning, speak to the artist that Drake done the song with. Yeah. They're man are happy over there. That's why. So how are you moaning from the the cheap seats? <laughs> you're not even no, but that's what that's the same. You can't even get in. That's a, that's a, <laughs> you're moaning from the cheap seats. But like, the nosebleeds, bro. But that's life, though. You're doing a, you're doing a song with, for example, Little Dirk. Or you're doing the song of Heady One or whatever. And people say the song of Heady, uh, um, Drake got more than Heady. Because... No. Let's stop no. this. Let's stop this. Let's stop this. No, Drake Let's... did. Drake did. Drake did. No, Drake Drake got, in terms of whatever. That, that, I think that free, that link up did more for Drake than it did for Heady. No. In my opinion. No, it didn't. In my opinion. No, it didn't. Stop this, man. Because Heady's um, streams went, went through the roof. People, people in America and whatever are hearing Heady that, have, that were never going to hear him. Or might have heard him months or years later. They've heard Heady now. Okay. But, uh, but uh, that, that promo, you can't buy that promo, bro. I'm not saying you can, but... So how does that more for Drake than Heady? Because Drake... When he's exposed no, Heady to the world. Yeah, but you're, you're looking at it from that perspective. I'm looking at it from the perspective of Drake. What, that he, can, that he can come to Tottenham now? No, not that. It's not, about, it's not about coming to Tottenham. It's about how it looks in America. Drake, Drake's got people looking at him like, rah, he fucks with them niggas. And he fucks with them niggas. That... You but he does! Does he? No, but does he? No, but that's but, my point. Uh, but when you're saying fuck them niggas, in what way? But that's my point. Because of how we look, do you know? Do you know what the argument? What the problem is here? We've got to basically unpack how we view hip hop. Because again, the whole street culture. This guy can't be this. Can't be that, brother. I said it to Loons a um, couple months ago. He was looking at me like I was chatting shit. Gunner's gonna announce a tour and he's going to do mad numbers in the current climate that we're in, where people are struggling to sell tickets. Gunner's still gonna sell. He's, he's on tour now. And he's shutting down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all that New York, the Barclays Center or something. Like exactly. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. But according to hip hop, he's a snitch. He shouldn't even be outside. But I'm saying the rules have changed. So the way we're looking at, for example, Drake doing certain things with certain people, it's, it's all, it's all going to be individual based on the information that you know. Some people don't know why Drake is doing what he's doing. So some of us are privy to certain things. And I'm saying that move there, I can, I can see why it would look to, like, think about it. As much as people like to say, oh, it's not doing much for the UK scene. It is, because now you've got, like, US YouTubers reviewing UK music. Yeah. Because now they're like, oh, shit, let's see what's going on, what's happening in London, you know what I mean? And they're listening to artists from here, and, and they're picking who they like. But the good thing about it is, and, and this is why I'm encouraging artists to go and um, make sure their business is in order, and also promo your old shit because again if you own your music it still stands to a particular time 
in our history. So like K Trap Warm is is not gonna go out of date. Like he solidified that in our lives, bro. You know what I'm saying? No matter where you go, you hear K Trap Warm, it takes you back. I start, I start rapping and really offended. Come on, Jesus. Man. Even American, I've, I've been in America and played it, and American girls are catching the vibe. They like it. Eventually, that's gonna be a tune in America. And you're gonna see how it. It's probably going to go double platinum. That's how it works. That, double platinum or triple platinum. That Central C song, and Little Baby. In I'm America. Go M, oh, we can go M for M. <laughs> that America, that is going off over there, bro. Central C is smart, man. But you see why, right, can we shout out YB's, please? Going off. What, going uh, bro, off. we have to shout him out, bro. I, f- I think they've managed, they've got a nice, you see, what's, you see Venom? Oh. Is, is it symb- symbiosis? <laughs> Symbiotic. Right. Once said the mix. Brother, they've they formed a team, but, yeah. But you know what's sick, yeah? The, but, way, they, the way they done Europe first, though. No, but wait, they done, hold they on. Done, they done France, C- C- Italy. Central C was at LV, uh, ringside, or wherever you want to call what it. Yeah. He backed out the Nintendo DS. He's playing... And he gave it to the white girl next to him. Oh, come on, bro. Like, people look at, oh, why is he being dumb? It's not being dumb. It's just... I can do what I want, but, who but even, I'm not doing what I want. Who even knows how much... Then, 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 it, it could have been the one where Nintendo... No, Nintendo the, probably Nintendo, didn't. Nintendo didn't know about it. Or... Someone said, you know what? what do you know what the, the, you know what you're seeing? What, what it looks like they do to me is this. They say to brands... They move the needle. No, they, yeah, they move the needle, but to me, it seems like they say to brands... Watch this. Yeah. My man wore the Decathlon to the Met Gala. That sold, this thing sold out Come on, man. immediately. The Decathlon said, raw. Or maybe they even sent an email and it's like, hi, I just want to let you know. Imagine it's like this. Yo, B, what, what do you feel like doing today? Let's disrupt the internet, man. All right, we got the invite to LV. You don't want to you wear it. Wear Nike, no. Adidas, no. No, no I saw you taking the cap from the other day. I want to wear that. Or it, I remember the, the, the Nintendo DS has nothing. Like, if I see an artist it's coming... Got no, it's got nothing to do with the... LV is not problematic. It's just... If I see it in your bag, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'll take it out. But the fact that you've, you've brought it out, if all the kids now go to the shop to go buy a Mario Kart or go buy a Nintendo DS, because all of a sudden we're going to start seeing Nintendo DSs on Instagram. Or you might just see kids just using it as like, a, not a prop, but as in like... In I'm, pictures I'm, I'm, now. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart. You can pin it to Central Seat. Mm. And he does that for fun. What is the Nintendo DS? We're talking about it now. Yeah. I like that. It's sick, man. It's fucking sick. And I know and I know it's not accidental. That's why it excites me. It's not accidental. They, there's an intention behind it. Yeah. He didn't just look in his pocket like, oh Cause shit. Because even when I saw it, I was like, what's that? Because the thing is, he's talking it's to the, the way girl, he pulled it out, though. He pulled it out this time. <laughs> Then the next step, I see the woman playing it next to him. Come I'm on, like, what? And who knows who she is? She might be someone who's mad famous as well. It's sick, man. Keep doing what you lot are doing, though. Shout out YBs, man. Um, I think we need to wrap up. So yeah, Marv's back. So we're back to reg- uh, re- regular regular schedule programming. What well, about for Finny, though, Taze? Your comments? No, that's what I was just about to say. I was about to say, yeah. So we're going to do a recap of the it's last it's two it's episodes. It's um, your comments, and that will drop. Uh, next week. Next week? Yeah. No, we should do one for this week. To drop today? We, we ain't got time. Oh, shit. I supposed to, what time is it? The fuck? I'm supposed to do what? I'm supposed to post a promo video for... Um... To your mind? Yeah. But yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Fucking Marv stopped me. Yeah, so Marv's back. We're going to continue with your comments, but we're not going to do this week because we ain't got time. It's Wednesday already. Um, this guy missed his flight already. No, we can do we can do Thursday. We can do it tonight and drop it. First, but that means we're, that means we're missing two weeks of your comment. That's not my fault. You're making it sound like it's my it fault. It is your fault. How is it my fault? The week, you the... were gallivanting in no, America, don't bro. Don't try it. Don't try it. I've, I've I'm to... giving you a lifeline here. I'm saying to them they're gonna no, miss this no, week, no, no, but they're no, gonna no. get they're gonna get double next week. That's it's triple next week, bro. But who is fault is that? That's not my fault. So you want me to go home and put on the mic again? No, no but my thing is I recorded uh, your comment by myself. I messaged you like Tade. Can we record? There's a your comments with me by myself. Oh, I didn't even see That's it. That's what I'm saying. I don't know your comments by myself. Wait, swear. Yeah, play, play it, bro. Play it now. Wait, 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 wait. The last your comments was me by my, my nah, ones. No, nah, I didn't know those were your comments. Oh, Why are you lying, bro? Oh, my God. Where? Look at your what, 409? Tap it, please. Play it, play it. Me no, I'm just, I'm just reading the comments. Someone said you did well, man. Thank you. It's me on my ones. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. But uh, look at your phone. I message you better times. Like, hey, take your comments, your comments. No response. Fuck. No, no, yeah, but wait. I, 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 I just recorded it. Behind. No, no, I was in um, Atlanta by then. It was like five or six. But, uh, was, it don't was, matter though. Yeah, it's carbon catch up. And then a week after, I think no, the, 
No, that, was that? Wait, what, what that was four oh nine. So we got four ten and four eleven to do. No, four eleven is next week. Yeah, we only got. No know. shit, four eleven is tomorrow. So I'm saying today. Yeah, it's two years, two, it's two. All right, cool. I'm gonna go home. And, um, I miss my flat we'll, still. We'll drop it. Wherever, man. But anyway, in a bit. Also, for those who are listening, I'm going to be doing a box park talks with Fiona Hall at Croydon Box Park, September the 1st. The big one still I'm going to be taking over the whole of Box Park for September. So just giving you a heads up. Just be aware of that. Um, video will be coming out soon. I think it's the 1st of September. I'll double check. Sunday the 1st of September. So there's a lot of time to buy tickets and whatever. So come support that. I don't know. Oh, yeah. We've got guests. Um, we've got ZZ Mills, Simply Sayo, Chucky, Loons. Christopher Savage and um, Chinks. 